Welcome back to the channel and today I want to mess around with a concept that I can only really describe as like a cycle copter. The idea is to take a quadcopter concept where it is driven by propellers but compress it down to a motorcycle size where it's just two propellers for the front and the back with the driver in the middle. And I also want to make this thing collective pitch so that uh, you can actually choose how much power the propellers have in them rather than just being on and off 100%. And then I also have some weird concepts for how I want to make it steer and uh, I want it to auto stabilize and I just want it to be like a user friendly experience. But something tells me this is going to be a very difficult thing to accomplish, especially with the balance of it. Uh, and I'm hoping that the propellers, if they're spinning in opposite directions, aren't going to cause any torque issues because I'm not sure how the symmetry is going to work with this thing. But uh, let's mess around with this idea and see what ends up happening. So what I'm planning on accomplishing with this with this thing is I want it to feel like you're driving on the ground no matter what altitude you're at. So I essentially want the pitch and roll to be automatic and then I want the actual propellers to tilt to cause us to go forward or slow down or go backwards. And then I'm going to actually have steering on this thing kind of like a normal motorcycle where just the front wheel or propeller in this case steers. So uh, that's the vision I have in mind. Now it's just a matter of can I can I make that a reality? Because oftentimes the thought is a lot simpler than the reality of it. So let's see what happens. All right, the first obstacle is I need to figure out what I'm gonna build this blade out of. Because like I said, I want it to be a collective pitch style, but it also needs to provide enough lift to lift whatever I'm building up off the ground. So I have used the small flap wings as a propeller before. They are kind of chonky. There we go, we've got one. All right, so with these four, then what I can do is uh, have this helicopter engine spin these things. And then as I increase the angle of these flaps, it should increase the lift of the propeller. But uh, as you can see, this is really big. Like these are gonna be some big propellers. And the challenge is I want this thing to tilt. So as it tilts, these propellers cannot come in contact with whatever's holding it in place. All right, let's do a quick test here. Does this, uh, does this work? Okay. Oh boy. All right. I mean, theoretically, uh, theoretically, it actually is not good. As long as the frame is open, then I feel comfortable. All right, this doesn't look as, like, uh, cool as I was hoping, but we'll see. All right, there we go. I made a little safety frame, so the edges aren't gonna kill anybody, if maybe. Okay, so the real question then becomes, if I copy and paste this to the back, I have then have to reverse the direction of this one. Can we get lift off? Oh, that's not good. Are these, are these hooked up right? Hold on. So when I press shift, you can see all of the flaps go down, which should give me lift, but I don't have enough lift. Why don't I have enough lift? I really thought this was going to work. Maybe small flap wings just aren't going to cut it. Can I fit these in here? Oh no, these can't spin though. I need to make it wider to accommodate that, unfortunately. All right, I've adjusted this and made it a lot rounder. It's kind of interesting. Like, look at the difference between the front and the back here. So, the question is, does this- is this big enough so that this doesn't- Wait, why did it get stuck? Why is it stuck right there? You can- there's a gap. All right, let's try this. No, it gets stuck. It looks like it's gonna be perfect, but... There's some invisible collisions going on. You know what? I wonder if uh, being on the steering hinges is actually affecting things. Whoa! That may have been the secret, because now all of a sudden this has torque? Okay, we have liftoff, but the problem is the torque. There is a major torque issue, which is weird because they are going in opposite directions, so I thought they would cancel each other out. You know, like a Chinook. Why are they not canceling each other out? Is there something different? Oh, I know why. I forgot to remove the uh, the steering hinges from this one. All right, so now that this one doesn't have steering hinges on it. Aha. Oh, but now we have the same problem of no lift. What? Why is there no lift now? I guess when I was spinning, I was getting more uh, air, more velocity. They were moving faster because we were also spinning the entire craft. All right, this is turning out to be way harder than I thought it was going to be. All right, I have a weird idea that's a, a not ideal workaround, but my main issue right now I feel like is just not having enough lift. 
So what if I add these propellers? These propellers don't actually generate torque, but they do generate lift. So what if I have them double up like this? So now... Okay. Okay, they generate too much lift. Am I able to set the power settings of them? Because that would be nice. There's no power setting for these. It looks like it's either on or off. So I, that, that just means I need to make myself heavier. That could be fine. Oh, here we go. It's too, it's too little though. It's not enough power. But I mean, we have lift off. I actually feel like those videos, like I've seen videos of a similar concept of like a hover bike. And, uh, this is pretty much how the- the videos went, the demo videos of showing how they- how they functioned. And I'm not doing much better than that so far. But, I'm getting somewhere. My big problem right now is that these flap wings do not nearly enough. I need a bigger difference between when they're active and not active, and they're just bad. Alright, back to the drawing board. I think the propellers have to be bigger. Alright, so I built these propellers as a proof of concept, and, um... <laughs> Already huge difference. Uh, okay, we got an issue with the collective pitch though. I need to create some space in between here so that the flaps don't, uh, hit. Alright, so this has, like, too much lift right now, but I have nothing else on this thing. So, that's something. We're starting from somewhere good. The only issue with this design is I will not be able to rotate these. So now I gotta redesign a cage around these things, uh, that's gonna allow me to rotate them. But let me actually- let me do a quick test here to see if adding steering to these, if adding hinges to these are going to break them. Alright, everything still works. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, 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 dude. Oh, why you do that? Oh, why that? Okay, so at least we can lift off now. And then... Yes. Okay, this is looking promising. I'm gonna have some auto stabilization for my uh, pitch, so I'm not gonna tilt forward. It's just gonna be the tilting of the uh, the rotors, and I feel like the cage should also tilt with the rotors too. But that's gonna I'm gonna have to add a whole another layer on the outside for that. Okay, we're getting somewhere though. We're making progress, and I'm realizing that turning is actually gonna have to be completely different than what I just had there at the front. Turning is gonna have to be a twisting motion instead of a turning motion, because the way I just had it, the turning would only work when they're in the tilted position. But this way, I'll be able to turn from any position, see? Just like that. And of course, I have my controls reversed. They're always reversed the first time. It actually looks pretty cool, too. All right, I got ideas. I got ideas. This is starting to work. It's finally starting to come together. It's been challenging, but it doesn't feel impossible anymore. All right, I've changed it so the entire cage goes with the uh, propellers, and they all twist together, so how much heavier am I? Can I get off the ground? Oh, no. Uh, no, it ruined it. Like, we are so close. Oh boy, that's really weird. Like, we have so much, like, we have lift, but the weight is too much. Alright, maybe now is the time that some, uh, support propellers are gonna come into play here. Alright, this is looking good. The propellers are on, and then I press shift to go up. Oh yeah, way stronger. And then we can go forward. And, oh boy, okay, turning is a little bit of a nightmare, but you know what? Once I have all of my, uh, once I have all my auto stabilization, maybe we have what we want. Alright, now I got a lot more work to do to make this thing actually balance itself. Alright, so I made some decent progress on the auto stabilization. Let me show you where I'm at right now. Uh, so as you can see, it is auto stabilizing itself out. I can turn in place like this. There's, uh, one direction, there's the other direction, and the auto stabilization is working wonders right now because when you don't have the auto stabilization and you try to turn during that, there's a lot of conflicting forces that just make you go completely out of control. So then you can see I can start going forward and uh, I can even turn while I'm going forward. The only weird thing is like right now I'm noticing that it's see the propellers seem to be sitting at a not straight angle for some reason. Oh, I do know why that happens because the torque that is created by the individual propeller, uh, segments, they are actually causing it to spin slightly. They're, they're applying a force to the turning servos. That is interesting. 
I don't know how to overcome that, but uh, everything else other than that is working. There is just, there seems to be an adverse yaw when it comes to going forward just because of the nature of the uh, the torque. All right, so we're still not even close to done yet. Well, we're, we're, we're a lot closer than we were. We're definitely over the halfway point, but there's a lot more that I wanted to do with this. So one of the things is I wanted to lean forward when we go forward, just because I think that would be cool. So I'm going to add a function here that uh, rotates the angle sensors, and this should force the angle sensors to automatically adjust its resting angle to uh, a slight lean forward. All right, I think I got it. had to make some adjustments to accommodate, but now you can see when I press forward, it actually tilts me forward. I could probably actually go a little bit slower than that for the tilt just to match what the uh, propellers are doing, but everything else seems to be working pretty fine. Now, I should also tilt backwards when I go backwards. Yeah. There we go. This is feeling pretty nice. This is, this is starting to feel like my vision has coming to life the way I intended. Okay, so I've added a lot more programming to this thing, so it does a lot of things automatically just to make the user experience a lot uh, smoother. So the biggest thing that I've added is uh, an auto height stabilizer. So now you press shift and control to go up and down, but it's just from wherever your current height is. So you can see if I press shift, I'll go up. And if I let go of shift, it'll actually settle down to a designated height. And then if I press control, I'll go down. And if I let go, you can see it stops itself and settles into this new height. So I just did that with a speed sensor. You can see this speed sensor on the side here. It basically detects if you're going down, then uh, add collective pitch into the propellers. And then when I press shift or uh, control, it actually overrides that output. So it will no longer uh, send that to the propellers. So you can have your own manual control over whether or not you're going up or down. So the other thing I did was that when you're going forward, the angle that these propellers are at are at a pretty precise angle so that you're not losing altitude. Cause as they tilt forward, there's less up force because some of that is converted into forward in the forward direction. Um, but I have it at just the right angle so that you're just gaining a little bit of altitude if you're at max collective pitch. And uh, so what I ended up doing was just to make it easier on the user experience, when you press W to go forward, it maximizes out the collective pitch so that you will not be going down. And right now I'm actually intentionally going down because I'm pressing control. But if I let go of control here, you can see that we actually kind of equalize out and we hover at a pretty stable height. Um, above the ground. So now it's like we're, you know, we're a hover bike just as intended. And then of course, if I let go, then the, uh, the automatic altitude sensor will take over and it'll just kind of hover you here at this height as well. And then just because I wanted a little bit more speed, I added some boosters. So if you press space, uh, you can boost and get a little bit of extra speed out of this thing as well. So I feel pretty good about that. But as far as the functionality goes, I really feel like I got everything that I wanted out of this. And if I add much more, that's just going to be more weight. I think as far as my goal that I talked about at the beginning of this episode, I'm pretty sure that I've accomplished exactly what I set out to. This is a two propeller kind of like drone style motorbike or hover bike, I guess. And it turns using the propellers. It has collective pitch, which allows you to go up and down using the propellers. And the rest is just auto stabilization with the servos. And here, like, look, uh, oh, we got backwards too. I don't even, I don't even know if I mentioned that the backwards works as well. So that works just as fine. So we can slow yourselves down. And then here I can come down using the collective pitch. I can just keep tapping control to go down towards the ground and then turn it off. So there you have it, a two propeller hover bike drone. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And if you have any other ideas that you'd like to see me try to uh, build in Trail Makers. If you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.